Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Mal and I'm the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mal. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making a Galaxy Tumblr using alcohol inks. There was a little preview of this one in one of my last videos and you guys went wild over it. So I'm really excited that you're excited because I love how this cup turned out. So this is the tumbler we're going to be making today. I love this SVG, the astronaut blowing bubbles that are planets and all the colors and everything going on. So I'm gonna show you how I made this. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. We're starting with a 30 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven. I'm going to base paint it using flat black from Rust-Oleum. Let that dry and then we're going to go right in with the tacket method for our first layer of glitter. I've got about two and a half milliliters of water in this little cup and I'm going to put about that much tacket in there and mix it together. You can use the tacket straight if you would like to, don't mix it with anything, um, but mixing it with water just makes it go a little bit further. Um, so that's what I will do with tacket method. I'm going to brush a little bit of it on the cup and make sure that I've got pretty even thin coverage. I'm using a thick brush just to brush it on there and I'm going to set it aside and let it dry about 20 ish minutes and then go in with my heat gun to speed up that drying process a little more. What you want is for your cup to be pretty much looking dry. You don't want to see any of those brush strokes or anything like that. And once your cup looks dry, you'll know that you're ready to go in with your glitter. For the glitter here, I'm using Aphrodite from PDB. It's a silver holographic and it's beautiful. And because your tacket's pretty much dry, you don't need to wait too long. You can go right in with your tacket method. Um, for this, I'm going to use a hack that I saw on TikTok. You do your tacket like normal and then instead of using your finger to rub the glitter down, you spray a paper towel with rubbing alcohol and then you rub the cup that way and it worked. Look at that hollow shift. Oh my lanta, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys saw that hack on TikTok, but this is my first time trying it and I am a believer. That was awesome. <laughs> so once that was finished, I left the cup overnight. You don't have to, but it was bedtime. So the next day I went in with my first coat of epoxy. This coat was about 20 to 25 milliliters. You don't need a perfectly smooth cup for this technique at this point. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's relatively smooth. So I just did that one coat and after that was cured, I went in with my craft knife to clean up my top rim. And then I also sanded down the top rim of my cup just to expose that thin line of stainless steel. And then I didn't worry about the rest of the cup. It's fine at this point. So next I'm going to take some white and black spray paint and spray some little bursts all around the cup. I did mostly white and added just a few black ones in there to give us some darkness. And now, I'm ready to go in with all of my alcohol inks. As you can see, I'm using a wide array of alcohol inks. You can use whatever colors you have, whatever you like best. Um, I really like the PDB alcohol inks, so I'm using quite a few of those, but I've also got some Hobby Lobby, some Tim Holtz, and whatever other brands that I've got. Any alcohol ink will work for this. So I'm taking a little cotton round and I squirted some of the epoxy on there and I'm just going to tap it in. You can also apply the ink directly to your cup if you'd prefer that way. Either way is totally fine. And I'm really just going to take random colors and just blend them all together on the cup. I really liked how this dark ink, this is Miss Jackson from PDB, looked on the black base and then like blending into the white and the glitter. It just looks really, really cool. So I really liked that. But basically what you'll do is just take whatever color you feel like using, squirt a little bit of it onto a cotton round or a paper towel or coffee filter. You can use a makeup sponge, whatever method you like the best. And you'll just dab it onto random spots of your cup until your cup is filled up with color. I do recommend keeping some rubbing alcohol handy so that you can blend out any colors that you don't 
like or maybe they're just a little bit too much so like in this spot here i took a little drop of rubbing alcohol and just blended out that hot pink a little bit more and it kind of diffuses the color a little bit if you have alcohol in a spray bottle you can spray it onto your ink and it'll give you this really cool kind of cellular effect um, i didn't do that on this cut but i have done it in the past and it is a really cool effect especially once you add epoxy so here I am just continuing on with all of my colors. You can layer these up as much as you would like. You can blend them together. This is really where you can just have fun, go wild, use all the colors you want, incorporate whatever you want and just have fun with it. I did incorporate some black alcohol ink um, into some spots just to really kind of deepen some of those areas. This is an outer space cup after all. Um, if the black is a little bit too much, you can add rubbing alcohol to diffuse it a little bit, just like all the other colors. Um, one thing you can also do that I was doing is take some white alcohol ink and put it right on your black and it'll give you a really cool kind of moody gray space color. I really like that effect. In fact, with all of the alcohol inks, you can add white and it gives it a like kind of creamy texture. So there you can see when I put it on that turquoise color, it gives it a different effect. So I did that also a lot around the cup, but like I said, just have fun with this and don't worry about making it perfect. It will look perfect in the end, no matter what your color combo is, okay? So remember, have fun. Once you've got all of your inks placed and blended how you like them, you wanna set your cup aside and make sure that you give your cup time to fully dry. Uh, I don't personally like to seal my alcohol inks, but if you do, go ahead and seal them. Whatever you prefer is totally fine. I don't seal mine. Um, so once the inks are dry, I go in with a coat of epoxy. This coat is about 20 milliliters. I'm going to apply it to the entire surface of the cup, hit it with my torch to pop any bubbles, and then I'm going to add some glitter all over the cup. I'm taking Snow White from PDB. I've got a little bit of H2O from Peachy Olive Glitters, and then also some Firefly from PDB. So going in with Firefly first, I'm just going to do like a big sprinkle on either side of the cup just to add a little bit of iridescence. And then I'm taking H2O and just kind of pinching little shapes here and there. I really, really want that to be pretty scarce. And then going in with Snow White, she is really the star of the show. She brings this outer space vibe to life. So I'm gonna go pretty crazy with Snow White. I'm gonna add a lot of it to the cup. Of course, this is personal preference, obviously. You can add as much glitter or as little as you would like. You can add colored glitters if you have little stars you wanna throw in here. Don't be afraid to just really get creative and have fun with this process. It was really fun to just throw glitter around. <laughs> so once that coat dried, I added another coat on the top of that to make sure my cup was totally smooth. I sanded down that top rim again, and then I went right in with my decal. This decal I think is so cool. I spent a lot of time on Etsy looking for outer space like astronaut decals or SVGs. And when I found this one, I was like, yes, that is so cool and it's so different. So I weeded it out, added my transfer tape, and I made sure that it was really attached to the transfer tape because I didn't want to have to recut and weed it again. This vinyl, by the way, is from HTV Runt. Um, I got it from Amazon. It has a clear backing, which is super helpful for placing decals on cups. Um, and it really cuts well. All of those small little pieces cut perfectly. They didn't, you know, get caught or lift up or anything. So I really, really like this vinyl. So I peeled off the backing and then put the backing back on just to make sure that it was adhered to my transfer tape um, and that I wasn't going to have any issues when I went to apply the decal to the cup. So once I had the decal placed, I kept the backing on. I was able to place it perfectly. I am just basically using the hinge method. So I'm going to attach one end of the transfer tape to my cup and then very carefully remove that backing and rub my decal onto my cup, placing it just how you see here, very slowly, very carefully. This is an intricate decal with a lot of pieces, so you just wanna make sure that you're really careful. I used my squeegee to help make sure the decal was stuck on the cup, and then I removed my transfer tape slowly and carefully once again. 
So once it was on there, I went right into my final coats of epoxy. I did two coats over this decal. The first one was about 20 milliliters, and then the final, final coat was only about 15 milliliters. So once that cured, we are done. So that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I love how this cup turned out and I love all the different colors of alcohol inks. And every single time you make this, it will come out different. So every single one is unique. If you like the video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye. You have anything to say, Mr. Astronaut? What am I doing? <laughs>